The DBDC will be held in Boston from July the 28th to July the 31st, 2022. Welcome back. I'm going to continue my discussion with Rita Getman Algara regarding the pro standard that happened at the recent Manhattan Dance Sport. Rita, we already uh, discussed a new couple, brand new couple who finished sixth at this event. Finishing fifth was a couple who were brand new to me. Uh, the first time I'd seen them was on Thursday. Uh, actually yeah. winning the Pro Rising Star. The names are Maxine and Paulina. Uh, they're dancing out of Arizona and they had an incredible yeah. tussle with the fourth place couple because they finished five, five, four, four, five. Now, I think, please educate me. Who are these guys? So, yes, I actually, um, I know this couple. They are new immigrants from Ukraine that came to work in uh, Fred Astaire studio out of Scottsdale, Arizona. So um, very young, uh, very vibrant, um, hungry to prove um, couple from Arizona now representing Fred Astaire franchise. Um, so um, you know what? What very good? What is very good about this couple is that they actually, compared to the sixth place couple, know exactly who you are and what what their image. So you know, tall, very elegant, big shapes, uh, big um, big lines, uh, big volume, and very rehearsed. Extremely, extremely rehearsed, prepared. So you know, it's it's all. No matter when you look at them, they never fall apart and they are very, you know, very prepared. Let's put it this way. Um, so it's easy. Th this couple is easily marked because because no matter when, you know, it's 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 the good energy, good, good, you know, kind of uh, image and everything. What I would like to see more is the depth of movement through their body weight release. Because uh, for me, it was a little bit, you know, a little bit, we call this type of dancing leggy when when the body movement is, when the movement is not created through initiation of the movements through the body weight. And in this case, uh, for me, I, I, I see the activity of the moving leg too early, too much. So it, that doesn't allow the volume of movement from foot to foot to be full. So that's just my, again, my humble opinion, because for me, it's, it's one of my, you know, kind of every judge, probably every teacher has their own, you know, little things that are so important to them. So one of mine is the quality of movement. And then out of that creation of big shapes as a result of that. And that's why I feel for them is the, it's the, the area of improvement needed. So, because sometimes they look too light because of that. Uh -huh. So there's not enough body weight release. Mm -hmm. The way, you know, changes of speed of movement are not naturally happening because it's not body weight related as much as I would like it to see. But nevertheless, fantastic. They're very excited because, you know, every single comp they do now, this is their third event and everywhere they're winning rising stars. And that gives them new confidence because, you know, mm -hmm. when you're in a new country and right away you're having fantastic results, it gives you a wing you know, wings behind your back. So the energy is right. They are excited. They're excited to be there. They, they, that, that's, that's the whole thing. About, and that's contagious. Good positivity is always contagious. That's what people, we all judges are, are humans. We like to be at the party, not at the misery, you know? <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So yeah. people react to this. Somebody is happy. You want to be at that party. You don't want to be mm -hmm. at pity party, you know? So, you know, and that's what works and kudos to them. And that's what I su suggest everybody thinks. It's like when you go compete, show us how excited you are. It's been a year and a half of, of misery, real, literally misery, right? In a sense for us as competitive dancers and, and judges and the whole business. So now we're finally out of the cages. Let's go, let's party. 
one sort of last thing. Did this couple have a big reputation in the Ukraine or you know that I don't know honestly that I don't know I haven't I haven't I haven't followed them uh, uh, back in Ukraine back from Ukraine because I'm I mean I'm often at Blackpool I'm often uh, at international you know UK but I honestly don't remember them having big results there or maybe I'm just uneducated I can't take that away from them I just don't know but um, the depth of um, talent in Ukraine is very big. Ukraine now is one of the, you know, one of the countries where the young generation, junior dancing, youth dancing, young adults is is very, very, you know, prominent. They they have a lot of very mm-hmm. good couples. So, you know, it's it's a new generation of very educated dancers and very skillful dancers, let's put it this way. Yeah, well, I have to agree with you. These guys were very skillful and to come from sort of nowhere to be fifth in yeah. that final, considering who didn't make it. Yeah, I exactly. will uh, cheer, cheer you guys. Keep, yeah. it, keep it up. Yeah, exactly. So, Rita, I think, yeah, I think it's time for us to find out who finished fourth. Guys, please don't go too far away because I'm going to be back with more from the Pro Standard at Manhattan 2021 with the wonderful Rita Getman-Algara.